Hello, everyone, and welcome to the next cultural settlement, Feudal Japan. This settlement has reward types similar to the Vikings, with one being given after completing in under a certain time, and the other after completing it all. The time rewards have fragments towards a special building called the Timeless Dojo. The dojo has five levels and provides a variety of resources every 24 hours. These include coins, medals, random goods, forge points, and a random unit from your age. It is slightly larger than the Viking building at 3x3, but it is still relatively small. The settlement rewards alternate between special building upgrades and emissaries, and then, like the Vikings, once you collect all of those, you'll get 50 forge points continuously following each completion. The special building is called the Shinto Temple and has nine levels. At level nine, it provides a good amount of coins, 50 random goods, 12 forge points, and supplies. It also gives a supply collection boost of 25%. For a 3x4 space, this provides a lot of stuff, so I think it's definitely worth working towards. And unlike the Vikings, it only takes 13 completions to get the completely leveled special building. You may have noticed this extra tab on the starting page of the settlement that wasn't there for the Vikings. Feudal Japan has a unique twist where you're able to unlock a merchant to trade goods with. We'll take a closer look once we're in the settlement, so let's get started. As you might have guessed, I'm going to assume that you've already completed the Viking settlement. So I'll skip over some things, like building and diplomacy. I will remind you, though, that once houses are built, they don't need to be connected to roads anymore. And that buying as many expansions as possible early on is important. Feudal Japan has four types of goods that you'll need to collect. And you can use the resource overview to see how many of each you need to complete the settlement. Unfortunately, impediments are still a thing that you'll have to build and plan around. Fast forward to completing the sixth quest, and you'll get access to the merchant on the right-hand side. Here, you'll need to negotiate with goods from your age to obtain resources from the settlement. The negotiations work similarly to Guild Expedition and Guild Battlegrounds. What I find cool is that you can earn resources that you haven't yet unlocked in the tech tree, and then use them to buy expansions in advance. Personally, I think this is what makes Feudal Japan one of the easier settlements. But you'll have to play and find out for yourself. That's the end of this video. Thanks very much for watching. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. If you enjoyed the video and would want to see more, please like and subscribe. And as always, keep on jamming.